second half. George Foster keeps hitting. Hitting right behind him. In the air to deep left center field. Walker and Sedanio go back, and that one's gone. Darryl Strawberry hits his 14th home run of the season and his second in two nights, going the other way to put the Mets on top by a score of one to nothing. Well, that fellow's going to hit. He's got such a beautiful swing. He's got such a beautiful swing. He agrees. But you wouldn't believe me. You drive 30 miles south. <laughs> <laughs> and you go swimming right now. Well, what Al means well, is kind of convinced you. In weather like this, there's a lot of bees in the bats. <laughs> in the air, the deep left field. This one may be out of here, and Murphy hits a home run. Boy, does he love this ballpark. It was so easy. He just reached out. So easy. Again, I say every time I'm in the ballpark, this guy wears the ball out. He's have sent a lot of men up against Misson and, uh, and not scored. Kemp ready. That's it deep to right field. Way back. Almost got one earlier when he had jerked one just foul down the right side. And then he got all that one, his seventh home run of the year, and his 32nd and 33rd runs batted in. And Steve Kemp and Dave Winfield have all six Yankee base hits. Well, the Yankees move. Uh... If he can start when he's young, he'll master it so much better each year after that. And Johnny Padre has made a living with that change of pace for many, many years. Hey, that's gone. Holy cow. Winfield has just hit a three-run homer. The ball players are running, but they saw the ball come back, but a fan had touched it. Frank, that was a curveball, and Hatcher hit the wall, but it hit a fan's hand and dropped down. Hi for Winfield, home run number 11, and hey, fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Dave Winfield, this bud's for you. Tiger Stadium really alive now with a stopping and the wave in this venerable park. Pitch is in high in the air to deep right field. If it's fair, it's out of here. It hits the pole. Marshall followed by the left-hand hitter Kenny Landro. The infield is back with one out. Breaking ball, and he drives it into deep left center. Back goes Murphy to the wall. Gone.
If they ask Barker about that pitch, I guarantee you he's going to say it was a mistake. Los Angeles Dodgers' Oral Hershiser has a perfect game going through seven innings. There's a drive out to deep left center field. It could be gone. It's going, going. It is gone. Goodbye. Ryan Sandberg with a home run. That is his 14th home run of the year. Sandberg, who leads the National League in slugging percentage, just added a little bit onto that statistic. Right corner, two for three, hits one deep to left. And it's a fair ball, a grand slam home run. Look at Carter. Six RBIs in the ball game. And the Indians now lead six to nothing. No runs on two base hits and have committed an error. We're about one third of the way through the ball game, bottom half of the third inning. Three and two on Winfield. In the right, he's going back. That ball is out of here. Can you imagine that? He is strong. Oh, I mean, that ball was so far outside. Unbelievable. He started in, and then he went back, kept going back, and Dave Winfield has just hit his 14th home run of the year. And fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Dave Winfield, this bugs for you. One in the eighth. Hey, that ties it up. Yes, sir. Holy cow. Weiniger really ripped that one. And we got a 3-3 ball game. Fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, puts Weiniger. On a strike to Griffey. Well, hit to right field. How gone. far back is it? Is it far enough? And it's gone. Home run for Griffey. Home run for Griffey, and the Yankees go out in front nine to six. Well, fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Ken Griffey, this bud's for you. They getting their money's worth here. New York Yankees. And now Rick Cerrone with two outs and Moreno at third. Ball well hit to left field. They're going to carry. Yes. It's gone. It's out of here. Home run for Cerrone. And how many times, Bobby, have we said it? A guy is not supposed to play. He inserted in the lineup at the last minute. All relaxed. Comes through with a big night. And Rick Cerrone has his third hit of this ball game. And fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run? Hey, Rick Cerrone, this bud's for you. The Yankees. Well, anyway, as Brenly looks for Bereni's delivery, then he goes back to a more conventional way of hitting. Watch him. And he cocks back in there. And there's a drive to deep left field. It could be gone. It's going, going. And it is gone goodbye. Another three-run home run by Bob Brindley. And the Giants lead by a score of five to two. Well, Brindley's just been about as hot as you can be, hitting 389 over the last five games coming. Field is a batter. Actually, Dave, after striking out in the second inning, lost the point. He is at 352 point behind Mattingly, although with Mattingly's over two, they're probably tied at 352. Dave went two for three last night before leaving the ball game. Dave's driven in 13 runs in his last 14 games. And that's gone. A liner into the left field seat. Dave Winfield has just hit his 15th home run of the year. Lead one to nothing. Just a line drive.
drive that kept rising. The left fielder Steve Henderson didn't move. And you know what happens every time the Yankee hits a home run? Hey, Dave Winfield, this butt for you. And Joe Rizzuto just joined us in time to see that line drive fail out of the ballpark. Well, that's a typical Winfield line drive. He is it so he really had a closed door meeting last night for the paper. They said he blessed it. That's tough because he figured they gave up after the Yankees had scored about six or seven runs. Yeah, two balls, no strikes automatically. Runners at first and third and two outs in the fifth inning. Deep to right field. That ball is gone. John Mattingly has just hit his 18th home run of the year. And the Yankees now lead five to nothing. That is probably the worst thing that a manager wants to happen after he goes out and has a talk to him. The next pitch is hit for a home run. And fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Don Mattingly, this bud's for you. Well, Don almost hit a home run here last night, but Cowan's made the catch. And this one, there was no doubt about it. One of the things about baseball, you seldom see it called if a fan interferes with the ball. The umpire can award as many bases as he thinks it would have taken if the play had not been interfered with. Deep drive to left, and you can forget this one. It's out of here. A three-run home run for Jody Davis. His 15th home run of the year, and he leads the Chicago Cubs with 66 RBIs. Four to nothing, Chicago. Jody Davis with his second home run against the Mets. And there was no doubt about it. He run home run. Jim Foley drove in the other two runs with base hits. And for the Mariners, he, uh, he ran home by Collins. There's a drive deep to right center. And gone. How do you like that? That ball really carried. The deep right center field. Dan Griffey puts one out. The Yankees now lead seven to two. Make that eight to two now. And fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Ken Griffey, this bud's for you. I think. I think the Darwin pitch that one. Winfield's 16th home run of the year. Well, when you hit him like Dave Winfield, you don't have to worry about whether the ball is carrying or not. I mean, that was a rocket. I've seen Big Dave really hit some rockets in this series. Well, fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Dave Winfield, this spot's for you. McReynolds, two for three. He was one for two in the first game. This ball hit a ton to left field, way back. This ball is out of here. I mean, he got all of that one, a fastball off of Jesse Orozco, and it's now an eight to six ball game. That is the seventh home run given up by Orozco in relief. And there was no doubt about it. McReynolds with his 19th home run and the Padres pull up to two. Say Bill's pitchers duel with each pitcher having given up four runs and eight hits through five innings but <laughs> all tied up and it's who's going to come out ahead Zahn or Necro right now as we go to the sixth inning. And Don Mattingly's two for two against Zahn a single and a double and a run batted in. Did he get it? Yes he got it. Benitez just watches as it sails into the seats in deep right field. Don Mattingly has just hit his 19th home run of the year. He's three for three, and the Yankees have taken a five to four lead over California. And all he needs now, Frank, is a triple to have hit for the cycle. And fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Don Mattingly, this ball. With Pally Rulo trying to get him to pull the ball a little bit more. Most of his outs are to the left side. And there's another one deep left field. This one might go though. It's up and it is gone. Balls carrying the left center field. 
And Pagliarulo has just hit his fourth home run of the year. And the Yankees are on the board. Now the score is California three and the Yankees one. Well, the ball really, really travels here at uh, Anaheim Stadium. And you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run? Hey, my California scoring all three of their runs in the bottom half of the first inning. A three-run home run by Fred Lynn. The Yankees coming back on an opposite field home run by Mike Pagliarulo in the top of the fifth. And it's 3-1 California. Deep right center. You know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run? Hey, Don Mattingly. The announcement <laughs> just now that <laughs> prior to today's game, Oscar Gamble and Marty Bystrom were taken off the disabled list. That's going to be a hit the foul pole. Hit the foul pole. Dave Winfield has just hit his 17th home run of the year, and the Yankees have an insurance run. Well, he mashed that line drive down the left field line, and it hit and ricocheted off the foul pole. Well, fans, you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Dave Winfield, this punch for you. And I mean, he really laced this pitch. I want to see where the dent is and the foul pole is down there. Bobby Cox is on his way to the mound now that Oscar. Cut back in 1981. Runners going in the left field. Going back is Collins. That is out of here. Dave Winfield has just hit a three-run home run, and the Yankees now lead four to three. time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Dave Winfield, this but for you. Got to be a sweet hit for him, Bobby, because uh, Clancy came up and in on him, tried to back him off the plate, but Dave stayed. Dark. But he's hitting less than 230 against Chicago pitching. Now that's another reason, I guess, why they decided to bypass Strawberry. George 0 for 1. 3 nothing Mets in the third inning. Once he gets over that 500 home run plateau, he'll break out with a big year. Well, he's getting close. 498 last night. And a high towering drive into deep right center. Back goes Boston. Away back. It's gone. 499. Watch him go around the bases. It's almost become a ritual where he says something to Audrey or to the fans. Let's see if he does it. and disturb a pitcher. Where's he going? Base is loaded. 
Al Worthington looking at Robinson and saying, hey, wait a minute, he can't go anywhere. <laughs> fly ball and deep right fields are going to make it. Evans back and it's gone. Paul Urolo has hit one out and the Yankees will go out in front three to two. Well fans you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey Pags this bud's for you. That big curve. Uh, if he does, it will be a surprise. Nope. No, hit it well into right center field. Young going back. And it's a grand slam home run for Mike Pagliarulo. The youngsters first major league grand slam home run. And the Yankees lead 4-0. Oh, he's got to be happy. Oh, man. I... He tried that change again. And you know what happens every time a Yankee hits a home run. Hey, Mike Pally Rolo, this bud's for you. Oh, he, he's nine feet tall right now, Bill. All the way in the bleachers. Pally Rolo. Yankees have a two to one lead in the ninth inning, and the count is one and one on Baylor. Deep to left. Going back is Renicky. It's gone. Seventh home run of the year and driven in his 84th run, and the Yankees have an insurance run. They now lead three to one. That was what you call a sky buster. It was a high shot that almost disappeared in the darkness of the night and the brightness of the light. And he made some good pitches there, broke some bats, but they fell in. seen home plate umpire Dick Cavanaugh start to come up with that right hand about three times and not call it right there he started up as Kennedy turned around and said something as the near sends it deep left field going back and looking up is Martinez it's gone Cubs lead one to nothing Careful, as I said, Donnie, you get that ball up out over the plate, three balls and one strike, and you have a guy that can drive the ball out of the ballpark like Gary Matthews. He's already seen Bob Denier hit a ball completely over the screen. He can beat that trade and put those players in Indian uniform. Yeah. High to right, way back. This ball is gone. himself this fellow. He's not far from it. That ball is hit completely out of the stadium. <laughs> 